hey, when you're, you know, you're powerlifting, you're trying to get stronger and all that stuff, your accessories are put in there strategically for a reason by your coach. It's meant to make your weaknesses stronger. So definitely do the accessory movement because it bridges the gaps on your main lifts. So use the intensity that's prescribed, get all the reps, especially so when you step on a platform, you can PR, you can, you know, get something out of the platform. Don't skip accessories. Because when you step on the platform and you're like, oh shit, I didn't get stronger. It ain't your coach's fault. It's yours for not doing the damn work. We don't, we don't put no excuses in here. We get that shit done. I don't give a damn about your age, any of that shit. It's about mindset. And doing shit when you don't want to do it. That's how you get better at everything in life. Like your accessories. Yeah. Okay. See? We ain't gonna candy coat this. Hard work is the key. You wanna be successful. Quit making fucking excuses. Get in there and do it. I don't give a damn what happened in your past. You dictate your future. You can be hindered by that shit or use it as fuel. You know, there's a couple tips I got. When I come into the gym, I take that shit out of my pocket and I put it on my fucking shoulder because I'm gonna use that to fuel my workouts and to be fucking successful. Fuck the haters. There's gonna be people out there that don't want you to win, but it's your duty to fucking win. Period. Hey, look. When you get done, clean the barbell, knock that chalk off there. So that bar lasts a while. You don't get no rust on there. Nobody wants to be pulling on a pulling on a bar and you're getting your drip dirty. I mean, if I wear my gray sweatpants, I ain't trying to have them brown with rust when I come out of here. Be respectful. count on the next set <laughs> hey you're gonna hear me talk about this shit a lot mindset if you let everything in life that affects you on a day-to-day -day basis dictate how you're gonna operate then you ain't gonna win you can't you got to be positive if you think about negativity more than you think about positivity your life's gonna be negative you got to think about positivity and I promise you it will do you good you will win but above all God first and I stand on that for sure, forever. But mindset, keeping God first, and trying to be a good person, of course. But I hope it helps you. This is that, that tip for business. If y'all tuned in long enough and y'all looking for that, here's the first little tip in business. If you're gonna get a partner, 
have an operating agreement. Have everything in writing, set in stone, before y'all shake hands. Because sometimes a handshake is gonna be null and void when someone changes their mind. So make sure you got all the percentages nailed down, everything, the stipulations of the contract before you go in business with somebody else. I stand on that. I hope you enjoyed day one of our new series we got coming out. We got a lot of more content, a lot more stuff planned. We do this for y'all. We do this for the community. Thank y'all for tuning in. I hope y'all stick around for the whole videos to get those little, little jewels we dropped. Hope you get some of the bench, uh, the bench technique stuff that we dropped as well. I'm looking forward to doing all these connected with you guys. So please like, subscribe, comment and tune in to the next one. Peace, I love you guys.